Hello and welcome back to Amnesia where the calm music plays and we are crystal clear. And today, today, yeah, we, we saw the water monster in the last game, but oh, yes. Storage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I remember all this like it was yesterday. Now, I think we're going to go through this one. Because it is the one that opened up. Yeah, I know I missed a bunch of tinder boxes. Now, if memory serves correctly, you go in there, it ain't gonna be fun. Let me see, I think. Oh yeah, it's not working, that's right. We gotta get it working, and then, then after this wonderful thing, it just, the game really, oh no. The machine room. Yeah, I'd, I think I'd rather go into the guest room. I'm sure you guys can hear just by how I'm talking about it. Yeah, it's. Ah, oh, yes, the game rewards you with some tinder and some oil. We shall go into the guest room and see the wonderful <sighs> It's so common. And you'll see quickly. Well, it's weird. It's interesting. It's like Alexander is like, to me, Alexander is like one of those guys that, um, he's he's. Let me see. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian government office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. <coughs> he quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, that's... That's what happens when you mess with old ancient things, and now those people are probably all dead. Let's see, I think... 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. 
I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, You covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seemed to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Yep. Mm, has any of these go well, actually? Indiana Jones wouldn't even be out right now because, well, it was based on the 30s, and this is the 1800s, so. Oh yes, we could uh negotiate with the door. Door, could you please open up? Please, sir. Huh? Now nah, we'll just Sorry about that, guys. The dog was barking. Now... Yep. Yep. You better find a place to hide. Was that you? Gosh. Come on, Billy. You made the place look like a mess. Damn, Billy. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta make the game a little, you know, spooky. You gotta, you gotta make it a little funny, you know? Yeah. Sorry. All right, sorry about that. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Oh, too easy. <laughs> Daniel, you have killed yourself. Sorry. Um, no, it's it's just I don't know. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. 
Yes. Alexander! You don't touch my painting! Ah! Oh. Whoops. And then Billy. Alright, sorry if I'm not taking this game too seriously. I just... This is how I, uh... Keep myself from screaming like a baby. Bam! Alright, well... Now I'm stalling. So, we pretty much got everything... I think, yeah. We got everything basically we needed... Got all the books. We know the knowledge of how the expedition failed. Because all the men went probably crazy and... Oh, tinderbox. Tinderbox. We should make a song about the tinder. Alright. To... And well, the orb seems to be attracting fans that are a little too crazy. The study. Now you will know scariness. I believe. I think this is the room. Yep. Yep. Just wait. Stuff is about to go down because Billy gets mad. It's my tinder box. Chair. Yeah. What? Out of oil. Stop it, Daniel. You're in the clear. You don't need to be scared of the darkness. Billy? Billy, is that you? Fine. Gosh. Well, that happened. <gasps> it is thy Alexander. Into the chest you go, because no one cares. All right. This will be my defensive wall. Hex yeah, bros. Oh, you know what? The dogs are mad because they keep barking in this game and in real life. Wait, I want to play the piano. I want to do the piano. Do, 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 do. All right. So now that we're back to being crystal clear... dogs in the game and outside of the game I do not want to <gasps> here we are to my most trusted student and friend Joan Wire the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods of the summer I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Hello Drumus described it in the Hortus Conculus. It was as it was told about. An underground Mithrak 
temple crowned with the unearthly artifact, my apologies. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed with while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstrad, investigating one of their antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Vader, where are you? As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life. But it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing because of my curiosity. I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. It was part of the dark side. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit because it wanted the dark side in me. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in a lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground grasping for air. And where's Vader? This certainly must sound strange. But I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field at Sajanira. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear to return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs. I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstadt. Your dear friend and mentor, <laughs> Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. <laughs> we would be honored if you would join us, because I have the best Palpatine impression. And no one will ever defeat me. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. Alright. Now we're going to fight this guardian. And we're going to go 
And we're going to face it like a man. Where are you? Where are you? I think you can break these open. Why do the legs spike? There's a dinner. Oh yes. I wanted my tinder box. Is that the forest that they're talking about? It could be a little different. <gasps> you don't even dare. Where are you? I don't see ya. Where are you, Billy? Where are you? Oh. Billy? Did you get a little mad? Billy? <gasps> it is Billy's journal. When will it be my return? Have I not shown resistance? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind is not even washed. Or wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return, Agrippa. I trusted you. I was, oh no, it was who I, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Yeah, my grammar is terrible. Billy, you gotta be good. Agrippa kind of just trolled you, you know. But it's okay. It's okay, Billy. And now you will see the full power of the dark side of the force. I have foreseen this. Now, see? I have foreseen it. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should be read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the flowing chart. Trinity steam set functions. 4 phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Now that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted because this is talking about the machine room and I don't want to go to the machine room, but we gotta. I can't be a baby anymore. Yes. Billy! Is that you out there? Oh, Billy? Oh, it's a chest. Glory to the ancestors. How do you guys like my accents? I probably am butchering them. Doggo, you better shut it. I just like to imagine that somebody would come all the way over here and find this candle still lit. Come on. Whoops. An ancestor has been spilled all over the place. Sorry, I like to go into different accents. Kind of makes me feel a little happier. Brandenburg. You better watch out. Emergency declarator or decelerator, whatever. And then we gotta go and find Billy! Where are you, Billy? Billy! What did I tell you? There's enough wood in the attic for you to burn it. Stop burning down the trees. Billy? Wait, how many Billies are there? Hello? I didn't even go over there. I think we're about to see Billy. He might be a little mad. Billy? 
Oh, poor dog. Poor puppy. Poor puppy. What the hell? Alexander, have you been going through all the... Oh my gosh. They've been doing illegal human test subbing. That's just wrong. Oh, that's terrible. Can a slurp familiaris sixteen fifty eight april twelfth after a short study it is clear that the ag agitation found among humans can be found in the dog i think that yeah that's what that said fear and pain induce stress which seems to trigger an indigenous response causing the animal to burst with energy I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis, whatever that means. There's an inherited problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. Glorious. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Now, I don't know what a lot of these big words mean coming from down there, but uh, it don't seem too good, I'll be honest. Alexander, let's pick up this shovel. Hiya! Yeah, yeah, I meant to do that. <gasps> the bird. The bird. <gasps> Mr. Rabbits. Now, I don't know what I just heard, but I think that was animal cruelty, and where that door was, I thought that was Billy staring at me, but nope, it's just a man I'm a kid. Billy! Oh, I know this all too well. Watch what happens. So you see his face? Good old Alexander. Sixteen fifty eight, January ninth. Further disappointment. The antiquarium's latest findings yielded nothing. Its seal unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as a will prove less of a hassle to acquire. Alexander, gosh man, you are terrible. Let's see what's in here. Gosh, man. <gasps> A tinder box. Do we see anything? A slight headache, yep. I didn't have to do that, but... Hey! 
Well. Billy! Billy! Watch you just shut up already! Alright, let's see. Yeah. No, I won't. Hello, Mr. Daniels. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. But my little child's kind of gone, and I have lost my arms. So, yes. <sighs> Sorry about that. Mr. Daniels is dead. Hello. Are you Billy's brother? No, that would be the water monster. Would you shut up already? Alright, let's go see Billy. Billy, where are you? Oh, Billy. I want to see you. Billy? Billy? Billy go. I just wanted to say hello to him. <gasps> Am I the monster? Is Billy really the man of Daniel and I'm just the monster? Could it be? Could it be? I don't know. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine containment or cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached out a broken glass and I couldn't read the rest. You mean imbecile! <sighs> that I don't think was there. Well, yay. Oh, he probably. Billy was probably eating, um. snacks, you know? Good old Billy snacks. Yum, 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 yum. Alright, let's go to the machinery room. No, this is the storage room. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Yes, now you will see. Oh, oh no. I remember this room like it was yesterday. Okay. And, um, yeah, it ain't good. Billy, please don't jump out at me, okay? He will, and you'll see it. You will see it. Oh. Oh, well, we could just... <coughs> Alright, I'll stop. <gasps> we have 20 tinder boxes! Okay. Now, this place... I don't quite remember. Okay, um... I don't exactly remember... Um, if I'm correct, you don't trust any doors in here. Um,
Oh yeah. Okay. Whew. I didn't want to open up that door anyway. Okay. So this room was fine. Oh, I'm, I'm remembering it all now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Are you there? Billy? Oh no! Already? Fine. I didn't want to use it, but... Okay. I don't like wasting tinder boxes like this, but now Okay, good. Mr. Bowden. Here we go, guys. It's that door. Oh, it's that door. Oh, hell no. that door oh it's I, I think it's it's either this door oh uh, 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 no I don't like this 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 part this part this part this part Tell your friends to shut up. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got that. All right. Um, I really don't want to mix these parts yet.
Okay. Another tinder. Okay. All right. Now, when we pick up this part, shh, excuse my language, but shit is about to go crazy. I'm sure you can hear just by my voice that I'm actually scared. Normally, like, yeah, I'd be messing around, but like, I, I will admit when I am scared, and this this part. Okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna sit here for a little bit. I'm gonna turn this off. We're gonna sit here for a little bit. Alright, so that door, that door that I did not touch. You know what? If you guys wanna play the game, you guys can go do it. Now, I don't know if it happens automatically, but I know if you open up that door, stuff goes nuts. Um, wow, I used a lot of oil. Um, okay. You know what? Where are you, Billy? You know what? Okay. Alexander, I have prepared the explosive you needed for cleaning the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your Feather brain servants, this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive, but should be kept separate to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Agrippa. Yeah, it's not this room. It's... There's a room... Which you're about to see. You know what? Fuck it. We're running. We're running. I don't want to be in here any longer. I don't want to be in here any longer. Nope. Nope. Don't trust lady. Okay, now we're gonna do it here. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative for your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. You know what? For your guys' entertainment, we're gonna do it. You guys ready? I hope you brought an extra pair of undies. Because shit's about to go nuts. 
bait. Really? Then... Why doesn't it open? Hmm. I guess it only happens to certain people. Alright, well that kind of just completely took out all the scare. So basically, there... Uh, that voice... If you go to it, I think it's either that door or there's another door. But if you open it up, it's a trap. The monster is actually making that no that voice. It's like the thing. And that's what really scared me. Because the movie The Thing, like that, that gave me, like, even when I watch it now, it gives me paranoia. Because I'm like, man, anybody around me could be that. But, no, the door either breaks open or you open it. And the Billy decides to jump out at you. Now, I think it's because I already got all the parts that it didn't happen. But. Oh. Well, in the next one. We will venture into the machine room and further our progression. Have a good day.